We have made a serious mistake, Alexandra. That mistake was... Well, let me go back. I've played this game several times, I would say. And there was one rule I didn't observe, or one interpretation of the rule I didn't deserve that observe. I didn't deserve to observe. That has haunted us. Uh, and that I just come to realize is the ghost that's been nipping at my heels, at our heels, pulling us uh, down by the Achilles tendon into the earth. And that interpretation has been the way communication works for those of us who are back in the um, Stone Age. Those of us who are in Era 1 are not allowed to communicate with the others, and that has led us to become uh, something akin to second-class citizens. We're not allowed to speak. We're not allowed to name things. We're not allowed to talk to the others and ask, why are we shut out? Why are we left to roam in the cold tundra while you can establish your sweeping states? I think it's... Although it's not maybe intentional, I think it is. A, there is an interesting corollary uh, between the the plight of Wolf and I, and those that are disenfranchised. Uh, organization is a strong, strong force, and when people are organized in a large block, in an exclusive club, a stuff, stuffy nose, faced and taunt, those who are not in that block suffer. Because there's only so much in this world, and if you're not part of the organization, you are left to your own devices. And it's not only that, but those things that you thought were yours can be easily taken away from you, just as Pegasus has been taken away from us. She had finally ascended to her, her place of economic power, the place that she should have had all along, because she is the mother of our people. She was our mother. And she became an elder, and we lifted her up, and we said, show us the way. But the Hobbit Lord Mimmon said we were having too much fun. We thought we were playing a game, that we were supposed to have fun. He said he took her because we were having too much fun. And it was our mistake. Our mistake to, to not learn to speak sooner. And we... We don't feel like we have that opportunity now. We feel like it's too late. But we have headed to his door, and we will try to get her back. We need to get her back. She is our mother. So we already took our turn. We took it over the internet. I don't like doing that. I feel like you, you miss out on a lot of the decision process. It's, it's a lot easier to go through the decision process as I'm and as we are making the decision than it is to come back and talk to you afterwards. Uh, so what did we decide to do? Well, we decided to draw a card. We tried to domesticate nuts, or domesticate a, uh, maize beans yet again, and yet again failed. The chances of us failing that many times on a 66% roll are very small. But each time we do it, I guess it's a fresh 66% chance, and we've just been very unlucky. Which is, you know, maybe if you want to talk about luck as a force, we've had a lot of um, good luck in other parts of the game. The fact that we're even able to play this game, we are very fortunate. So the fact that we've gotten that bad role is not something to dwell on. But it is the case that we use two innovation actions to get nuts yet again. And we can't use nuts. Um, so what else did we do? We drew a card. We innovated. We haven't done that in a long time. Without the um, shellfish middens, however, without a, a cultural diffusion icon on our card, we um, can't take from most of what's out there. Uh, it's another way in which we are shut out. And I guess that's kind of how Wolf was before, before he took our cultural diffusion card. He was not able to take from the a stuffy nose face and taunt. So we drew a card, um, and here I'm afraid we, well, I in this case, was um, misinformed. Uh, just it was my own fault. There's a there's an E with an up symbol um, in how the cards are are showed on the form. I thought that meant meant an elder gain, but it meant an elder reset. So I probably would have done the fecundity decrease instead of the, the domestication, but we got a town out of it. 
Um, we're not allowed to name it yet, um, so I haven't even thought about it. Uh, so we have a town here, which it's not really pertinent to the near term. I probably would have preferred the fecundity decrease, but it could it could help out later on. And then population-wise, uh, Flush went south, and then he sent a new cube here, which I haven't drawn yet, so we should do that now. Um, this, in my, my kind of romantic fairy tale, is where Pegasus is being held. I'm going to roll a die again instead of... Um instead of doing a draw. The crew of the Pobucklin Wren is close to being done with this mission and when they are I think everyone is going to be back together again. Um, so here I go, one, two, three, or f well I guess it's only, yeah, one, two, th three, or four. And it's a six. That's going to be a re-roll. It's a three. So, it's a little red. A little red. That's That's kind of pointing. I kind of feel like as the two elderly folk there might be some sort of um, bond between uh, Pegasus and Little Red. They've always had sort of a, a sun and a moon type relationship. I don't know which is which, but Little Red is now outside the Hobbit town Buckland, which I think I might just start naming the towns myself. You know, since I can't name anything on the greater board, I can name things on my board here and we can have our own words for things, our own sounds. And I think the sound for this town, this town that has stolen away our mother, is going to be... Oh!